everybody now here comes the next function in logical dax function series and this is switch this is nothing but the extended version of the if else statement which you can say and uh, you know it in fact it makes the if else statement further more simpler now if you are someone who have seen this video you might have enjoyed if if else a statement how effective is that right and if you have seen this then the, this video is going to be more simpler but if you have not seen that by any chance then still it is going to be simpler because here i am going to give you a comparative view so stay tuned with this video and let's understand how the switch works i am going to directly take you to the power bi and over there i am going to explain you how the switch works in comparison with if statement here we are in power bi and let's say i want to do the segmentation of all these customers in terms of this so wherever the build amount is 3500 i want to say premium wherever it is 2000 i want to say classic where it is 1000 i want to say general how can i achieve that using if else statement so for that what i'm going to do is i will quickly create a new column i'm going to name it as profiling profiling with if statement okay so whatever name you want to give you can just give that i am keeping it like this okay so i need to say if and i'm going to say build amount equals to 3500 then it should produce the value as premium All right if it is not that if it is build um, if build amount equals to 2000 then i want to say it classic else i want to say it general all right so i am done with this now i need to close all the brackets so two brackets are closed and i want to do a bit of alignment so that it could be simple for you to understand now what you see over here is you see this is the if else statement now after this i'm just going to hit enter and you see what's what's gonna happen it's gonna produce the value now if you notice one thing every time you have to you have to do the nested if right once a statement one statement is completed over here then the next statement start along with the if and you have to write this name again and again okay the column name now let's see how can we make it more simple using switch uh, switch function rather i can say okay so i'm going to create another column and i would say profiling profiling using switch and here i'm going to say switch and you see only once i have to say build amount and then i have to put just the values 3500 then i want to say premium premium if otherwise i want to say when it is 2000 i want to say classic classic and when it is 1000 i want to say it general now what you see over here is we wrote switch statement only once we wrote the column name on which we want to apply the logic only once and we only wrote the condition which was needed condition and value and the result we just specified them in each of the steps right so rather it is a simpler step of if statement now let's just compare the value whether it is same or not absolutely same you see general general premium premium general general everywhere it is same right so let's just have a comparative look here you see every time we have to write the if statement all right along with the column name but when it goes to the switch you have to write that only once and in for rest of the part you have to do this only if you don't want to write this last statement also that you can also skip just as the if else statement oops i need to specify the general otherwise that will keep just blank so i just need to say over here general all right and now what you see over here is done exactly the same thing you see now here we understood that here we had the exact value now what if we have the value range rather we can say or maybe we want to use it in terms of greater than or less than something like that 
so you remember from the previous video where we had done the classification basis on this uh, this value using if else statement how we had done that let's try to create that so what you observe over here is you don't have that rounded number values 3500 2000 to 100 1000 right rather you should you have some uh, range of values over here now consider if you want to do the same type of classification over here let's see how can we do that using if else as well as with so, uh, switch function okay so again i'm going to say profiling using if and here i'm going to say if then again build amount build amount is greater than 3500 then what should i produce i should produce premium premium then again i would require to start the if statement if build amount right greater than 2000 then produce classic else i want to say general all right so now you see every time we have to do the same thing every time we have to start the if statement to make it uh, you know uh, work to make it work right let's just hit enter so here it has the uh, logical operator right so it is almost same as as compared to the previous example where we were we were using equals to now let's see how is it different for premium customers okay and here seems something like different i need to say greater than equals to is it let's just see I am not getting the value for general. Do I not have any value which is less than 2000? Is that true? Is that so? Yes, I don't have any value which is less than which is less than uh, 2000. So that's where I'm not uh, we are getting only two values which is classic and premium. But that's absolutely fine. Okay. Uh, as for the logic, it is absolutely fine. Now let's just create the another column into it very very quickly so over here i'm going to name this as profiling with switch okay and here i'm going to say switch now you would require to use one more function and that is called true all right and after that you need to use the exact same way where you say greater than equals to 3500 3500 then make it premium and then again you don't need to write switch statement all together again unlike the if function right and over here you just say greater than 2000 then you say classic otherwise you just say general I just need to put it in general all right we are done with this now what you observe over here is we don't need to write the if statement again and again you see that's the difference just hit enter now if you have multiple logic not just this even more than this then it's going to be very very simple isn't it now you see over here this is sorted if you look at the if statement the it looks every time you have to write the if statement whenever and you have to be cautious about the brackets starting and closing right and here you have to start only one bracket and end that and every time you just need to use this column along with the conditional values or range of the value so this is how you can use the switch statement to make your conditional column creation very very simple now let me just show you a comparative view over here again what you saw over here is you are writing if statement then the uh, then you are writing again the column name then giving the condition and then you are saying premium uh, you are producing the result again you are writing the starting the if statement and then giving the condition and putting the uh, result and you have to very very cautious like i said about the i'm sorry about this bracket and here you don't have to worry about the bracket opening and closer because there's just one all the condition inside that and every time you just need to use only the column along with the conditional value and then just put the result you see so this is how the switch makes the works very simpler
compared to the if statement but if still stands amazing so that i mean you can go ahead and start using either of these two whichever you find very very useful thanks once again